good evening, good morning, konnichiwa, aloha, wherever this transmission finds you around the beautiful planet Earth. What a magnificent sight she is. There she is, Earth. Some may call her Urantia, some may call her Planet 606 of Satania. There's an ancient, ancient term from the text of Urantia. A very fascinating read, I should say. On this transmission for January 13, we're going to cut back down to Earth Sanctuary just for a brief transmission with uh, Tommy and uh, myself on this day. And uh, we've got a bit of climate change news to uh, fill us all in and, uh, and see what's happening around the world. So without further ado, let's uh, cut down to the sanctuary and, uh, and have some fun, shall we? Well, I think what we might do is first is just make sure this satellite connection is uh, up and running as uh, I'm sure it makes things a little difficult if we don't have a, uh, a connection. I think uh, we can all agree to that. Federation Earth Sanctuary, go ahead. Uh, good on you Ross, the superstar, the man, the chipper, he found my phone, he was a bit of an observer for things that lie on the side of roads and he found the phone which was hanging diligently on the car, somehow made it through three corners but uh, survived the fall and was found by, a, by an angel. Uh, the day's been good, we've been at St Johnny Ambulance picking up uh, human beings and uh, it's been a fairly stock standard day for the ambulance centre and uh, we've had a great day catching up on work too. Still plenty of uploads to do uh, prior to our big uh, big journey down to Melbourne in about 10 days, 10 days. So uh, we're doing the roundup for the website, millicom.com, and for, uh, of course, Federation TV. Uh, you guys are doing well, just looking out. We've got to 11,118 human beings on just one of our little, uh, one of our little TV uh, doobadackers here, which is great, and a total of 40,000 hits. So uh, you superstars, those, those of you who are in tune, obviously all of you, good luck to you and well done. Good to see that there's plenty of Galactic Federation Jedi Knights uh, around this planet. Keep up the good work. That's right. We are growing as a family. Go Federation, you little beauty. Uh, the boys mucking around there down at Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. This is uh, One World, One People. Our uh, wonderful campaign is to unite the planet. We uh, are aiming at projecting for a World Federation by 2012. What is a World Federation? It is a collective, it's a unification of all people on Earth to appreciate the wonderful news that extraterrestrial activity is alive and well, not just in our atmosphere, but in and around the planet Earth and throughout the galaxy as we know it. We're pushing for disclosure, like many wonderful organisations on the planet Earth. When will people get to it? When will they start realising the uh, wonderful aspects of extraterrestrial existence? Mind you, we really need to be changing the term from extraterrestrial to extra-dimensional. The term has a greater understanding to the abilities of the entities that are involved in, uh, in these particular uh, solar systems and throughout the universe. Let's have a little look at uh, some climatic news from around the planet Earth and uh, let's get into some climate change news for January 13. This is Millicom.com. Thanks very much, System. System's on screen. In Algeria, a woman was killed in a 5.3 magnitude earthquake which rocked Algeria's western province of Oran on Wednesday. The earthquake was the strongest in the region since 1970. The earthquake sparked a fire at a building and caused partial collapse and cracks in a number of old buildings. In Burma, a mud volcano known as Sai Chung Volcano, located at the Sai Chung Island, east of Kuak Pu Town in the Arakan state of western Burma, erupted on Saturday. In Indonesia, Mount Kula is demonstrating a new natural phenomenon in its history. On November the 2nd in 2007, at around 1600 hours, countless shallow and deep volcanic tremors 
occurred. Over 500 quakes have been reported since the volcano erupted on that day. On further news on Millicom.com, we continue in Ecuador. Mountain farmers defy spewing volcano activity. Undeterred by ash and fiery rock spewing from Ecuador's throat of fire, volcano and predictions of greater activity. Peasant farmers work their corn and potato plots on the mountain on Friday, as mentioned on yesterday's transmission. Volca vol uh, volcanoes expect stronger activity from the, uh, the volcano because it is in the middle of an eruption cycle. In Australia, meteorologists who predicted cyclone conditions uh, in the top end uh, in the uh, New Year period now say the uh, threat will return at the start of next month. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on that as last week's Cyclone Helen, the strongest since Cyclone Gretel in uh, 1985, was cutting a swathe across the western top end here in Australia. The members for Darwin, Federation Superstars in the top end, keep an eye out. In Arkansas, the intensity of the tornado that struck the Ozark foothills on Tuesday, killing a man, could produce winds up to 135 miles per hour and was unusual in its timing. The tornado was usual, unusual in two ways, the time of day and the time of year. It is unusual to have storms that early in the morning, typically early morning, is one of the cooler times of the day. So further unusual activity occurring around the planet in relation to the alterations in temperature from warm to cold. In Illinois, hundreds were forced to evacuate in east central Illinois after days of heavy rainfall and melting snow caused severe flooding. In the United Kingdom, torrential rains and floods are expected throughout Britain in the next few days after snow and storms shut down transport links and cut off power to homes. In Mozambique, Floods reaching re uh, resettlement areas. The current flooding in the, the Zambezi Valley in central Mozambique is now worse than the floods of February in 2007. Uh, on Friday, the National Civil Protection Unit went into action to rescue about 18,000 people affected by those floods. In Canada, the worst flooding in a decade. Uh, in the uh, Ontario Cottage County, country, sorry, town of Huntsville, came with little notice from the environmental officials. The mayor had been warned Wednesday afternoon by Ministry of Natural Resources officials said that there would be very minor flooding as light rain and warm weather melted the snow. Indications of taking a second opinion from the meteorological office I think would be a good idea. In Russia, a powerful cyclone born in the sea um, has affected the region there. The storm warning has been issued across the Russians far, far, Russia's Far East and it said snowstorms will be raging there for several days. Uh, there's further news there in Connecticut of uh, further extreme weather occurring around the planet uh, and that's climatic news which can be seen on millicom.com if you uh, so choose to uh, update yourself on that uh, information around the world. Uh, this has been another Federation transmission for the uh, Galactic Federation. We hope the information finds you well around the planet Earth. Until tomorrow, we take care. The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is...